Hello and welcome back to Exposing Human Trafficking. Alright, here goes some more stuff. This was sometime in September. Let's see here, 1990. My stepfather began raping me. George Bermudez Sr. And he realized when he raped me that my hymen had been destroyed. It had been destroyed July 20th, 1989 in Chatsworth, California when these disgusting Satanists decided to gang rape me and traffic me and make porn videos. Now, even though my stepfather had been doing child porn with me, I wasn't penetrated. There were other things done. Because I was supposed to wait until my wedding night. And when he realized that something had happened... I told him what had happened. He said I was a whore and I looked for it. I told him that George Bermudez Jr. had put something in my drink and that he had made films. I was crying. I was traumatized. I was hysterical. And I thought he was going to help me, but of course not. So he went ahead and he got a hold of my human trafficking stepbrother, George Bermudez Jr. Now, these films I have never given authorization to. I never consented to any of this. And what happened was my disgusting stepbrother sent him three reels of these films of me being gang raped. They had been edited into porn. While I was in therapy, Brad, of course, knew all this that was going on. And I had told my stepfather that I was engaged to Brad. Now, the day that these films came, I was at work. It was a Saturday. And when I came home from work, all my things were packed up. My stepfather with my younger half-sister... I don't know what he told her, but she said I had done porn and they had packed all my things up and they were throwing me out of the house. I had nowhere to go. I had no family. I had no friends. I hadn't been there long enough to really know of anybody. My mother stepped in. She didn't know what it was about. And she said that it was my home, too, and I stayed there. When my stepfather found out that I was engaged to Brad Pitt, now Brad Pitt was not famous. He was frying chicken at El Pollo Loco and struggling. He had um, filmed Thelma and Louise, but it wasn't out yet. It was in post-production. And I showed him my ring and I said, you can't keep raping me. I'm engaged. I have a boyfriend. He gave me this ring and we're supposed to get married. Of course, he didn't respect that either. Nobody seemed to have respected that ring. Now I see why.
because Brad was working with them. Because the next thing I know is that my stepfather went through the long distance phone bill. This was back in the day. There were no cell phones. There was one phone usually in the house. I had one in my room. There was one in the kitchen and there was one in my mom and stepdad's room. And there would be an itemized bill of all the phone calls that were made. And then it would show how much each call was charged. And by process of elimination, he found Brad's phone number, which wasn't that hard. All you had to do was look for, I think it was 818 area code for Chatsworth, California. He called Brad and told him that I was a whore, that he didn't want to be with me. That he should dump me, that we should not be together, that he should not marry me. And I was hysterical. And he took one of those reels of film and sent them to Brad. Brad went and told the doctor that he had received the films. We had the evidence to get these people put in jail. But then, supposedly, Brad had spoken with my older stepbrother, George Bermudez Jr., and my stepbrother said that there was a consent form, which I never signed. Instead of getting that consent form to me, a copy of it, they let it go. With that, we could have put my stepbrother in prison over 30 years ago. But once more, Brad covered up. Because Brad had the films, and all he had to do was turn them over to my doctor. But he didn't. And he said that I had signed a consent form, which I didn't. <coughs> Brad was complicit in all of this. And after that, Brad Pitt and my stepfather, George Bermudez Sr., became very good friends, unknown to me. And they used to travel the world together and go find other victims in other countries. My stepfather had sent me a picture of him and Brad in Argentina by a waterfall. They were buddies. Now, if your fiancé is going through something like this, are you going to be chummy with the people doing this to her? No. And that goes to show that Brad Pitt is the human trafficking boyfriend. The same as my stepfather said that they used him to get girls. They used him as bait. So I just figured I would share that with you and let you know how I could have been taken out of this mess one more time, but Brad Pitt threw me into it by withholding evidence that could have gotten these people arrested. So comment down below, give it a thumbs up to help with the algorithms. Subscribe if you haven't. Share, share, share. So that there is not one more victim of human trafficking. Thank you.